mobility and glute strength, we're gonna get started in Shavasana today with an option for supported fish. So if you have a block, you can bring it underneath. I actually don't even have a block today, but you can bring it underneath your shoulder blades just here and, or a pillow. And we're just gonna elevate slightly the back of the thoracic spine. And we're gonna start to come down option to keep the legs bent if this feels a little bit intense through your spine or you can extend them. And then I want you to expand through your wingspan, arms come out wide, allow yourself to feel heavy into the mat and just start to breathe here. Start to let go of whatever happened in your week, whatever sort of thoughts are sort of pulling you back into the past that you're ruminating on, set that aside. And then anything you feel like it's pulling you forward. So to-do lists or excitement or anxieties or anything like that, let that go as well and choose to be present here in your body with your breath for the next 60 minutes. I want you to take a big inhale, expanding through the rib cage, across the chest, then exhale, settle in here. Option to bring one hand to your ribs, one hand to your belly, and we'll start to anchor in to the body with a four count breath. So I want you to take an exhale here, empty all the way out. Then inhale, breathe in, fill up, belly, ribs, chest, expand the breath. Holding at the top for four, three, two, one. Exhale, let it go, chest, ribs, belly, empty all the way down. Pause here at the bottom, feel empty. Inhale, breathe in, fill up, belly, ribs, chest, beginning again, pausing at the top here for four, three, two, one, exhale, let it go, empty all the way down. One more time, begin again, inhale, breathe in, fill up belly, ribs, chest, all the way to the top and hold here for four, three, two, on one, exhale, empty out all the way down. Pausing at the bottom, last round. Inhale, breathe in, fill up through the belly, ribs, chest, fully three-dimensional. When you arrive at the top, keep inhaling. See if you can find a little bit more space there. We breathe into this space for four. On your exhale, you're gonna send the breath out as slowly as possible in three, two, on one. Exhale, empty all the way out, let it go. Gently remove your hands. We're gonna roll off of your block or pillow onto your left side body and come to a fetal position here. So stacking knee over knee, hip over hip, reaching your fingertips out in front of you. And I want you to stack hand on top of hand and we're gonna to start to crawl the right fingertips past the left. On your next inhale, start to trace a circle around as though your shoulders the center of the circle, tracing around and pause here with arms open and a gentle supine twist. Take an inhale here, breathe in through the torso. On your exhale, soften through the back of the shoulder. One more breath like that, inhale to fill up to create space. And then on your exhale, soften here. Keep sweeping your hand towards the bottom of your mat, towards your feet, and then we'll meet back in the stack position. Two more big circles like that, this time not pausing in your supine twist, but just continuing to move through the shoulder joint. Really big motions here as you peel the chest open, maybe pausing anywhere that feels a little bit tight. And then we'll come back to our neutral position. On your next inhale, reach for the bottom of your mat, sweep the arm open, exhale to close it down. Two more big circles like that, this time reaching for your feet. Exhale to close it down. One more time, inhale, open up, broad through the chest, spread through the collarbones. Exhale to close it down. Ball your top arm into a fist. Draw your right hand, elbow back like a bowstring and come open to this gentle supine twist here. One more time, inhale in, fill up. Exhale, soften and release. Gently bring your right hand back on top of left. We're gonna gently roll onto the back body. Hug your knees in towards your chest for a moment. Take a few rocks side to side. And then you're gonna roll over onto the other side towards the right, stacking left hand on top of right this time. I'll mirror you. So with the left hand on top of right, 
you start to walk your left fingertips out and then we're gonna start to sweep your left fingertips for the top of your mat, pausing here in this gentle seat bind twist, knees stacked, hips stacked, opening through the shoulder. Allow your left hand to hang heavy, take a big inhale in through the torso. On your exhale, twist and soften. One more inhale here, fill up. Exhale, release. Gently start to reach for the bottom of your mat. Left hand will come to stack on top of right and we'll take two more big circles back stroking through the left shoulder joint, starting to warm up here. Seeing if you can reach your fingertips on your left hand a little bit past your right. So we're getting that full extension through the shoulder. Pause here. On your next inhale, reach for your feet. We sweep open through the chest and then exhale to close it down in two more big circles like that, sweeping your left hand down, pulling it open and coming back to meet at center. One more time, we begin again, sweeping the left hand back and coming back to center. Ball your left, left hand into a fist and we're gonna draw like a bowstring back to come to that supine twist. Take a big inhale here, broad across the chest, fingertip to fingertip. Exhale to soften and twist. Gently draw the left hand back on top of the right. We'll turn over onto the back body. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a few rocks side to side. And then we'll set up with a little bit of core activation here. So coming to stack your knees over your hips. Fingertips come behind the head to support. And I want you to draw your attention to your lower pelvis. So without moving your upper body, I want you to think about tucking your tailbone and lifting your pelvis just a little bit up off the ground. So it's a really micro movement. I want you to think about maybe even slipping like a piece of paper underneath there. Starting to activate and turn on through the pelvic floor, activating through the lower core muscles, taking these little pulses we breathe here for four, three, two, on one, pause here, pressing your low back into that, starting with the activation. Take an inhale, start to draw your shoulder blades up off the mat, neutral gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist, right elbow to tap, left thigh, right foot extends. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. And we'll continue to move through this together, but I want you to find your own cadence here that works for you. So maybe you slow this down. I want you to make it whatever you do, more about the musculature, focusing on bringing the bottom right rib towards your left thigh, rather than the momentum of kicking the leg out or more using that as a counterbalance. We continue to slow this down, turning on through the obliques. We breathe here for eight, seven, Six. See if you can exhale on your twist. We're here for five, four, three, two. On one, come back to center. Allow your head to fall down to the mat, keeping your knees stacked. I want you to reach your right heel out and tap it down and then come back to center. We're gonna reach the left heel down and continue to move through this here. So I want you to focus again on the lower pelvic floor. The moment you feel your hip flexor starting to turn on, bend through the knee. So maybe you wanna extend the leg, but if you feel like most of the work is coming from your hip, I want you to bring it back and be bent. We're just gonna take a few taps here, breathing here for eight, continuing to hug the belly button into the spine, tucking the tailbone, lower ribs hug down as well. We're here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Feet come down to the mat in line with your hips, fingertips stream down to the heels, inhale, bridge pose, press your hips up towards the ceiling and be here. Power this movement from your heels, continue to lift up through the hips. Everything is up, so pelvis lifts, bottom ribs hug down, chin not slightly up towards the ceiling to create a sense of openness here. Maybe you walk your shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Option to stay here or come up on the ball of your right foot. From here, option to stay here, or you're gonna press into your left heel so much so that your right foot starts to hover up off the ground. Hips stay just as lifted as they were in bridge pose before. You can do whatever you want with your foot. It's really just cosmetic, but I want you to focus more on your left glute. We breathe here for three, 
to left inhale here, fill up. Exhale, right foot lands. Grounding through the right heel, come up on the ball of the left foot. Option to stay here or start to press into the right heel. Start to hover your foot up off the ground and keep the hips stay just as lifted. We breathe here for three, two. Left inhale here, lift up. Exhale, ground through your left foot. One more inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, slowly spine rolls down to the mat. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a few rocks side to side. And then I want you to send the left leg long, hugging the right knee up and outside of the ribs. And we'll give it a little bit of a circular motion here for wind removing pose, starting to move the hip around in the socket. And then option to stay here or left hand comes to the right shin, right fingertips, peace fingers reach for the right big toe. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you open up for a half happy baby, bring some motion in here, maybe some straightening and some bending through the foot. I mean the, the knee, but also through the foot, a little bit of movement there, swaying back and forth. We breathe here for four, three, two, on one, gently send the right leg long. We're gonna hug the left knee up and in for wind removing pose. Same thing here, bringing a little bit of movement into the front of the left hip, using this beginning of your asana practice as an opportunity to check in with yourself, to notice where you are in a non-judgmental way. So what feels open, what feels tight? What do you wanna work on? Where do you wanna be? When you're ready, come to stillness reaching the right hand for the left, sorry, the, reaching the right hand for the left shin, reaching down for the left toe. And maybe you just stay here in the supported kind of winter moving pose with a double bind. Maybe you reach the foot out and take this half happy baby, maybe bringing some movement in here, hugging, actively pressing the left knee towards the left shoulder. We breathe here for four, three, two, on one, both knees hug in towards your chest. Take a few rocks side to side. Hands are gonna come behind the hamstrings and we're gonna take a few big rocks to come up to a comfortable seated position on the mat. Sit tall and when you arrive here, I want you to walk your feet towards the outside edges of your mat. Knees point up towards the ceiling. And from here, fingertips come behind you so they can point out, they can point in but knees point towards the ceiling. I want you to take an inhale here, really active through the spine. On your exhale, not drop your knees over towards the left. And I want you to look down at your knee. We're looking for a 90 degree angle. So that's why I go really wide because my hips are a little bit tighter. We're gonna drop them here. And I want you to turn slightly towards the left, plant through the left hand on your inhale, press your hips forward, open up through the chest. Exhale, lower down reaching the hands out in front of you, or you can use behind for support. We're gonna take an inhale through center on exhale, knees drop over towards the right, right hand plants. On your inhale, hips press up towards the ceiling, opening through the left hip flexor. Exhale, we land down. So we're gonna go through a few of these. Inhale back to center, exhale, knees drop left. Grounding through the left hand, inhale, we rise, open up. Exhale, hips come back down. Inhale through center. Exhale, hips towards the right, grounding through the right hand. Inhale, open up. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale back to center. Exhale, twist, open up. So what we're doing here, we're working on internal and external rotation through the hips, getting a little bit of movement here before we're moving on. Ground through the right hand, open up here. And we come back to our seated position. And take a moment here just to come to a seat. You can face in whatever direction you'd like. We'll set an intention for the practice. So I want you to soften down your eyes. You can bring something underneath you if it's more comfortable to sit. And just take a breath here. So take an exhale to create some space. And then an inhale, fill up. Be here. Then exhale, release. If you came to class with an intention today that you'd like to dedicate practice to, I'll always encourage you to use that. If you're looking for something, I'll offer you this intention for 
of gratitude for movement this morning. Um, intention that is grounded in this gratitude for your ability to move, your ability to take time for yourself to truly be here. And as you move through this practice, knowing that it's about the process and the fact that you have designated this time to be here, to be present, that's what really matters. So starting to let go of outcome and focus more on the process of being here, expressing gratitude for that ability to be here, to choose to grow. Um, and I think that's really beautiful. So take a moment here. We'll take one more breath, take an exhale, send your breath out. Then inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Blink your eyes open. Let's start to move. Roll over to a tabletop position on your mat. Spread your fingertips wide. Hug your belly button in towards your spine. And we are here in this quadruped position. We'll start to take some big circles through the hips. And I want you to think about in your body, I want you to turn your elbows slightly forward as though you're turning knobs away, like on, I don't know, on a stove or something, you're turning them out. Grip the mat with your fingertips and start to trace the outside edges, the circumference of your palms on the mat and the rest of the body follows. You can allow your head and neck to be heavy and then reverse directions. Don't worry so much about the shape you're taking right now, but we're just starting to play around with having weight in the hands and the wrists. Turn your fingertips out to uh, nine and three o'clock and continue these circles, just getting into different angles of the wrists and then switch directions. And then we're gonna turn, turn the soft spots of the wrists forward, fingertips face back, pressing through the palms. And before moving here, I want you to be really broad across the base of the palm. Palm are down, pressing the thumbs out to about nine and three. And then same circles here, moving around, breathing into this space. And then flip your hands back over, come to your tabletop position. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, heart pulls through. Exhale, press back, cat pose, hug your belly button up and in towards your spine. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, ripple forward. Exhale, press it back for cat. One more time, inhale, cow pose, squeezing the shoulder blades together, broadening across the collarbones. On your exhale, ribs hug down, tailbone tucks, chin hugs in, be here. Come to a neutral spine, grounding through the left hand on your inhale, right arm sweeps high towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and we're gonna anchor down through the, the left knee and open up through towards the right for a modified side plank. Your left shin is perpendicular with the mat, pushing through the outside edge of your right foot, bumping your right hip up towards the ceiling, maybe even reaching your right hand overhead. Take a big inhale here to open. Exhale, we rise, gate pose, left arm sweeps up towards the ceiling, breathe here. We'll flow through that a few more times, left hand grounds, inhale, expand, open in the right side body. Exhale, we rise using the obliques, sweep up. One more time, grounding through the left hand, inhale, right arm sweeps forward. Exhale, we rise, gate pose. Come to a neutral spine, shoulder stack over hips, hands come to heart center, we're gonna bend through the right foot, turning towards the back of your mat and start to bend into the right knee. And we'll take some movement here through the knee. So I want you to anchor through the right heel. I want you to think about using your hamstring to pull the leg back and then pressing down using the gluten hamstring, opening up, breathing here for three, starting to build a little bit of heat in the lower body here for two, on one, pause in the depth of that 90 degree angle. We're gonna bring the right tricep to the inside of the right thigh. I want you to think extended side angle. And then we're bringing the left hand behind the head. Take an inhale, expand through the chest. Exhale, tap left elbow to right. Inhale, peel open. Exhale, tap. One more time, inhale, open up. Exhale, tap. This time on your inhale, we're gonna cartwheel forward, coming back to your modified side plank, grounding through the left hand, option to stay here, or we're gonna start to press into the left hand, hover the left knee up off the ground towards the left tricep, opening through the shoulders. We breathe here, we are here for three, two. On one, right hand lands, inhale, three-legged dog, left foot sweeps up high towards the ceiling. 
bring a little micro bend into the right knee and then we're gonna bend and stack, opening up through the left hip, sending the left knee towards the ceiling, maybe taking some circles through the left hip. One more inhale here as you open. On your exhale, we're going to fall in triangle with both hands down. So we're gonna sweep the left foot across the body about the midsection of your mat, hands are on the mat and we're gonna turn the hips forward. So squaring the hips to the mat. And I want you to think about squeezing your left, right hip forward, left hip back, really open through the left IT band. We breathe here for three, two, on one. We're gonna slide the left knee towards the left wrist, setting up for half pigeon, walking the fingertips towards outside the hips. So I want you to take an inhale here to open through the chest. You can always bring a block underneath your glute or a pillow here underneath your left glute. Hands can support our hands reach out. We're just gonna take an inhale to reach forward. Exhale, be here. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, reach forward. Really active pigeon. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, reach forward. One more time, inhale, we rise, open up. Exhale, bow down. Hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna flow on the other side, but I want you to take a few movements here back and forth just to get into the hamstrings and then lower down, coming to your tabletop position. One round here, inhale, open the chest cow pose. Exhale, press back for cat. Coming to a neutral spine, grounding through the right hand. Inhale, left arm sweeps high towards the ceiling. And then we'll start to spiral our hips towards the left, coming to a modified side plank. Press to the outside edge of your left foot. Reach your left hip up towards the ceiling. Left arm extends overhead, knitting the shoulder blades together. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, using your obliques, we rise to gate pose. Inhale, expand open. Exhale, flow down to the mat. Inhale, left arm reaches forward. Exhale, we rise. One more time like that, right hand finds the mat. Inhale, left arm sweeps high. Exhale, rise, gate pose. You know where we're going, hands come to neutral. Turning your left foot in line with the mat, we start to bend into the left knee. So we're gonna find some movement here using your lower body, starting to turn the left hip out. So we're really strong through the inner thighs here. We breathe here for four. Three, two, on one, left tricep comes to the inside of the left thigh. Right hand comes behind the head. Inhale to open through the chest. Exhale, tap. Inhale to open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, peel yourself open. Exhale, elbows meet. This time, inhale, right hand comes to the top of the mat. We ground down into the right hand. Option to stay here or start to hover the right knee up off the ground. We open the chest, we breathe here. We're here for three. Hugging the right knee up towards the tricep for two. Last inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot sweeps high towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Start to stack hip on top of hip, turning your right knee up towards the ceiling. We breathe here for three. Option to bring some movement in here. We are here for two. On one look to the top of the mat. We're going to send the right foot out to the side to come to that fallen triangle, but it's kind of a shortened one. So we're in the mid of our mat, hips reach back, shoulders come forward, and we're hugging the, le the left hip forward, right hip back. So we're getting into the outside IT band. We're here for three, two, on one. Right knee comes behind the right wrist setting up for your active half pigeon, walking your fingertips back to frame your hips. So your front shin can be at a number seven. It can be parallel. Mine is never parallel because my hips are a little bit tighter, um, but I want you to sit tall here and be in this space, shoulder stack. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, we're slowly gonna lower forward. Inhale, fingertips stay underneath or they can reach back. Exhale, come forward. One more time, active pigeon, inhale to open the chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come back to stack, hips over, shoulders over your hips, hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes, exhale, downward facing dog, and be here, pedal out through the feet. 
Move the hips back and forth. Allow your head and neck to hang heavy. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Grounding through the right foot, inhale, sorry, left foot, inhale, right foot sweeps high towards the ceiling. Exhale, right knee steps to right thumb. Hands come to the inside of the right foot. Inhale, cow lunge. Hips slightly drop, collarbone spread, fill up here. Exhale, cat pyramid, dome out through the shoulders. Hug the right hip back in space. Option to flex through the right foot if you want. I always do, but it's, again, kind of an aesthetic thing. Um, breathe here. Take an inhale to look forward. Slight bend into the left knee. We step forward. Active squat, hips pull to the back of your mat. Fingertips reach forward. Tuck the tailbone, pull your shoulders back over your hips. We breathe here for three, two. Last inhale here on your exhale, drive through the feet, hands pull to heart center. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, hand sweep overhead, open the chest. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips, forward fold and pause here. Weight comes into the balls of your feet. Feel free to take a little bit of movement here back and forth. Then inhale, halfway lift, fingertips come to the shins, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step the left foot back. We come back, low lunge. Inhale, three like a dog, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, hinge forward, high plank. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, lower chaturanga, elbows in by sides. Inhale, upward facing dog, heart pulls through. Pause here for a moment. Look for four points of contact at the top of your feet, pulling your shoulders back, your hands are grounded. One more inhale here. Exhale, belly button hugs to core, press up and back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. That's our little sun A variation today. It's a little different than normal. Inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left foot hugs in and steps to left thumb. Hands come to the inside of your left foot. You can tent up onto fingertips. Cow lunge, hips drop, heart pulls through, collarbone spread. Exhale, cat pyramid, left hip pulls back, right hip hugs forward. One more breath here, inhale, fill up. Bending through the right knee, look forward, step forward, active squat, hips sink low. Fingertips sweep forward, breathing here for three. Pressing through the feet in two. On one, inhale, exhale, hands pull to heart center. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, hands sweep overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, squat forward fold with a little bit of a wide stance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant, right foot travels back. Inhale, three like a dog, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, hinge forward, high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, exhale, let it go. Let's flow this one breath, one movement. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right foot steps to right thumb. Inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, cat pyramid, press it back. Inhale to look forward, step forward, active squat. Inhale, be here. Exhale, drive through the feet. Inhale, fingertips sweep overhead. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot travels back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, your journey to downward facing dog. Feel free to add in push-ups if you want them. Take them out. We meet back downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, hips pull back, cat pyramid. Inhale to look forward, step forward, active squat, hips sink. Exhale, hands pull to heart center. Inhale, fingertips sweep overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant, right foot travels back, three-legged dog, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, hinge forward, high plank, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pause here for a moment. Look over the right shoulder. Then gaze comes back to center. Look over the left shoulder. Then tucking the toes, press it up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. One more breath like that. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Grounding through the left foot. Inhale, right foot sweeps high towards the ceiling. 
exhale, right knee comes to right tricep and give it a tap. And we hold here for three, hugging the right heel up towards the glute for two. On one, inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right knee comes across the body towards left tricep. We're gonna extend through the right leg, grounding through the right hand. This time, left hand rises, fall in triangle. Stack shoulder on top of shoulder, bump your hips up towards the ceiling. Think side plank in your left side body. We breathe here for three, two, on one, left hand lands. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Look forward, exhale, right knee hugs in and steps to right thumb. Grounding through the left knee, inhale, Anjane Asana, fingertips sweep high, low crescent lunge. Right hip pulls back, left hip sweeps forward. And then I want you to start to reach forward with your hands. We're gonna ground through the left hand, right arm sweeps up high towards the ceiling. So we're in this low twist, tuck your back toes. And we're in this low twist, actually stay here for a moment. We're gonna cactus through the right elbow and hug the left heel in. So feeling this activation through the front of the quad or the opening through the front of the quad activation through the hamstring being here. On your next inhale, we're gonna tuck the toes, reach the right hand forward, so we're in this extended low lunge, reaching forward on your exhale, tap right hand to left thigh. So we're in this pyramid shape again. Inhale, peel open, grounding through the left knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, tap. One more time. Inhale, peel open. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, tap. Last round. Inhale, we peel open option to stay here or reach for a bind with your left foot opening through the chest and we're going to pull the right shoulder back and down the spine pressing through the left foot to pull the body open we are here for three two on one gently release the bind if you have it coming back to your low lunge inhale fingertips sweep high tuck the back toes we rise high crescent lunge in your high crescent lunge, bring a little micro bend into the back knee. So we bring the shoulders back over the hips, sink low into your right knee, fingertips flow high. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, peel yourself open, warrior two. Back foot comes parallel to the short edge of the mat, sink low into your front heel. Be in this space, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Trust yourself to be here, trust yourself to hold you up. If you encounter resistance, express gratitude for being able to be in this space to show up today. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, sink. Palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right hand leads up towards the ceiling. Option to reach behind for a half bind with your left hand. Take one more inhale as we reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Right elbow comes to the inside of the right thigh. Left arm sweeps up high towards the ceiling. Take a moment here, be in this space, open up. On your exhale, come onto the ball of the left foot, left hand finds the ground, right arm reaches high towards the ceiling. Start to cactus through the right arm. We're gonna quarter turn the hips towards the right, coming onto the outside edges of your feet here for high horizon lunge, right arm will reach high, hips will reach high. Exhale, low horizon lunge, hips drop, look back. Inhale, high horizon. Exhale, low horizon. One more time, inhale, high horizon, open through the hips. Exhale, low horizon, big transition here. Inhale, high horizon, right hand, we're in this quarter turn hips towards the left, right hand threads through, and we come to Skandasana at the back of the mat. So we're gonna sink low into the left foot. Um, you can stay as lifted as you want, but I want you to try to keep the entirety of your left foot into the ground. So maybe it's more like here, hands can come underneath shoulders, hands can come out wide. Breathing here for three, two, on one, fingertips crawl forward, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, your journey to downward facing dog. Feel free to take a one leg vinyasa. Feel free to play around with a little jump back. So you choose, we meet in downward facing dog. When you arrive in downward facing dog, take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. One more breath like that. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Grounding through the right heel. Inhale, left hips up high towards the ceiling. 
always start, I didn't wear a sweatshirt today, but I always start wearing a lot of clothes and then tough. So with the left foot towards the ceiling, one more inhale here, reach high, exhale, left heel hugs to left tricep and we breathe here, hugging the left heel up towards the glutes. We're here for three, two, on one, inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left foot comes outside of the right side of the mat, grounding through the left hand, inhale, fall in triangle. Bump your hips up towards the ceiling, maybe reach forward with your right hand, you can reach back, we're here for three, two, on one, right hand lands, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, left foot steps to left thumb, grounding through the right knee, grounding through the right hand, inhale, open through the chest, and we breathe here in this twisted lizard. On your exhale, start to cactus through the left shoulder, kick your right heel in towards your glute, Inhale, we reach forward, tucking your right toes. We come to this reach, this reach position in the lunge. Take an inhale here. Exhale, tap. Left hand reaches for the right thigh. It doesn't have to touch it, but we're in this pyramid shape. Inhale, we open through the chest, ground through the right knee. Exhale, twist and open. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, we tap. One more time. Inhale, twist, open. Exhale, be here. Option to have the bind. If you have it, again, we're gonna spiral the chest open, squeezing the shoulder blades together, but relaxing through the back of the shoulder. We breathe here for three, two, on one, gently release the bind. Hands come underneath the shoulders again. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, fingertips sweep high. Exhale, breathe here. Tuck the back toes, we press up, high crescent lunge. And again, here, hugging the right hip forward, left hip back, bringing a little micro knee into the right leg so we can pull the shoulders back over the hips, sinking low. Take an inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, spiral open and breathe. Active through the fingertips, reach them out in opposite directions. Sink low into your right knee. Can you find a little bit more depth there? We spend so much time in vinyasa coming through warrior two, but make this intentional be here, honor this posture. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale, kick it back. Reverse warrior, lower body stays exactly the same. Option to reach around for a little half bind. To get inhale here, spread through the ribs. Exhale, extended side angle. Left tricep comes to the inside of the left thigh. Right hip peels back behind the left. Right fingertips sweep high or towards the front of the room. Keeping the chest open. Big inhale here. Exhale, right hand lands. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Inhale, low lunge twist. From here, we're gonna roll into the outside edges of the feet, quarter turn the hips towards the left. Inhale, hips sweep high, left hand sweeps high. Exhale, low horizon. Two more times like that, inhale, high horizon. Exhale, hips sink. One more time, inhale, high horizon. Exhale, low horizon. This time, inhale, high horizon. Left arm threads underneath the right. We've come to the back of the mat, skandasana, sinking low into the right foot. Option of flex through the left. Hands can come underneath shoulders or at heart center or spread out. We breathe here for three, two, on one. Rebound that energy to the top of the mat, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, float forward, take the push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna flow through this, moving a little bit quicker, one breath to one movement. Less repetitions, grounding through the left foot. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right foot comes to right tricep just for a tap. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right knee comes to left tricep. Extend through the right leg, option to float it, or you can ground, take an inhale here. Exhale, left hand lands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps to right thumb. One time only, grounding through the left feet. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, cactus the elbow and foot. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, tap. Inhale, we rise, low crescent. Exhale, press up, high crescent. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale, be here. Inhale, reverse warrior. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, extend through the left hand. Exhale, low lunge twist. Take an inhale here, roll to the edges of both feet. High horizon lunge. Exhale, low horizon lunge. Inhale, right arm sweeps high. Exhale, skandasana to the back of the mat. Inhale, open the chest to be here. Exhale, rebound that energy forward, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Begin again, grounding through the right foot. Inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, fall and triangle or floating fall and triangle. Left foot threads through. We breathe here. Take a big inhale, fill up. Exhale, right hand lands. Left foot sweeps high. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, left foot travels forward. Grounding through the knee and right hand. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, left, right knee grounds. Fingertips sweep high. Exhale, high crescent lunge. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, right arm sweeps forward. Exhale, low lunge twist. Take an inhale here. Reaching the hips high, high horizon. Exhale, low horizon. Inhale, left hand sweeps up and threads through. Exhale, skandasana lunge to the back of your mat. Take a moment here, breathe in, fill up. Exhale, surf your fingertips forward, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, hinge forward, high plank. Take a moment here in your high plank, find the stability. Inhale to hinge forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Hands come out to 10 into a clock on the mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, active through the glutes, setting up for gecko pose, slash a few rounds of oscillating cobra. So hands outside the shoulders, cactusing through the arms. Take an inhale here, peel the chest open. Exhale, lower down. A few more rounds like that. Inhale, lift the chest heavy through the hips. Exhale, lower down. One more time like that. Inhale, open up. Exhale, lower down. Hands come underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. We rise to high plank, knees or toes. We're gonna take a slow rise, take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, we meet there in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, on one, press back downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Let's flow one more time, grounding through the left foot. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, right foot sweeps high. Exhale, right, knee, right foot extends, fallen triangle or floating triangle. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left hand grounds. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps to right thumb. Grounding through the left knee. Inhale, peel the shoulder open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, low crescent lunge, fingertips rise. Exhale, high crescent. Inhale, open up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, extend the left arm forward. Exhale, low lunge twist. Inhale, high horizon. Exhale, low horizon. Inhale, right arm travels around. Exhale, skandasana to the back of the mat. Big breath here, fill up. Exhale, fingertips surf forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps back outside of right hand. Look forward, step forward, left foot comes outside of left hand. Molasana yogi squat, sink low. So I want you to be here, find 
this position with your heels in, toes out, sinking low. You can always bring a block or a pillow underneath of your glutes for support. We're gonna take a few rocks side to side here. Chest is pulling open, breathing into the space. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips, press through the toes. Allow yourself to hang down towards the floor. Inhale, halfway lift here, draw the crown of your head forward. Exhale, bow. Option to reach for your peace toes, or sorry, your, your peace toes. I wish we had peace toes. Um, reach for your big toes with your peace fingers. Grab here, take an inhale here, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. One more inhale like that, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. From here, hands come underneath, step back, downward facing dog. One more time, we flow, inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left knee comes to top, left tricep. Inhale, left foot sweeps high. Exhale, left foot extends, fallen triangle or floating triangle. You choose, peel the chest open, shoulder stack, big inhale here. Exhale, right hand lands, left foot sweeps high. Inhale, expand open. Exhale, left foot steps to left thumb. Grounding through the right knee, right wrist. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, triangle tap. Inhale, we float high, Anjaneyasana, fingertips reach. Exhale, press up, high crescent. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, right arm sweeps forward. Exhale, low lunge twist. On your inhale, high horizon lunge. Exhale, hips drop, low horizon lunge. Inhale, left arm sweeps through, threads through. Skandasana to the back of your mat. Take a moment here, breathe in, sink low into the heel. Drive that energy to the top of the mat. We're back again, low lunge. Inhale, we've been here before, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps outside of left wrist. Look forward, right joins it, we sit low. So take a moment here, feel it out. We're gonna play around with a little bit of knee mobility here. Option to bring a block or a pillow out in front of you. I'm gonna demo from the side and then from the front. So in your yogi squat, I'm gonna take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. On your exhale, you're gonna to twist towards the left, coming on the ball of your right foot and tap the right knee down to the pillow or a block or the floor. Inhale back to center. On your exhale, we're twisting towards the right. Left knee comes down to tap pillow or block, come back to center. So we're gonna go through a few rounds of this, moving through center. You can also bring that towel or blanket in front of you if you have it, just turning to tap the knee, grounding through the heel. We come back, we're gonna be here. Take an inhale here, tap here for four, three, two, on one, both sides, finish it out. Coming back to center, lift the hips, hinge forward. We are in our wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, reach for your toes, elbows come out, pull the crown of your head down. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. And we're gonna come to just a gentle seat on your mat. Reach your fingertips behind. So there's an option here. <laughs> you could take, if you have a, um, if you have that towel or blanket with you, you're gonna roll up the towel. My towel is huge. And you're gonna bring it underneath to the top of kind of your Achilles, your lower shins, and you're gonna sit down gonna feel a little bit intense probably. Um, feel free to take a few rocks side to side. I'm gonna sit here for a moment. Inhale, fingertips sweep high overhead. Exhale, cactus, the elbows open the chest. 
one more time like that. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, cactus. I'm gonna reach up overhead, come onto your knees. Hands come in front, tuck the toes, and we meet back in this wide forward fold. And then we're gonna sit down to come back to our yogi squat. So some options here. We're gonna play around with circle wheel today. Um, if you wanna go there, awesome. If you're like, I've had enough, feel free to hang out here, bring a block, make it chill. So for our circle wheel from our yogi squat, we're gonna reach the left hand back. We're gonna press through the heels, reach the hips up and open through the chest. Then we're gonna come back down. We're gonna do semi-circles first, reaching the right hand back, gaze follows, hips lift, opening through the chest, left arm reaches back. And maybe this is where you wanna to be today. Just pressing through the heels, allowing your hips to drive the movement. Maybe eventually right hand drops back and you come to full wheel. And then you continue the motion all the way around. Up to you. The semicircles are great. A really good way to practice getting into your back bend, sliding your shoulder blades back and down the spine, being in this space. We breathe here wherever you are for four, three, two, on one, reaching the right hand back out to the side, being in this space, big inhale here. Exhale, lower down to the mat. We're gonna reach the feet out in front of us, just like the beginning of class. Drop your knees over towards the left and be here turning towards the left and gentle bend over your left shin. Hands can come out to the side. And inhale here to lift. Exhale, bend forward. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend forward. This time, come back to center, hands or no hands. Lift up really strong through the upper back. Exhale, lower, hands come out wide. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower, down. Inhale, come back to center, knees reach up towards the ceiling. We're gonna walk the feet in a little bit. Take an inhale here as you reach forward. Exhale, slowly peel your spine away from this airspace and down onto the mat. When you arrive on the mat, walk your heels in, knock your knees together. So feet on the outside, knees in. You can take a few movements side to side. Do windshield wipering the knees. And then we'll set up for bridge pose. We've been here before, heels come in by the hips, fingertips stream down by the heels on your inhale, tuck your tailbone, press your hips up towards the ceiling and breathe here. Option to walk your shoulder blades closer and interlace underneath your tailbone, find that grip. We breathe here for four. Open through the chest, the chin here for three. Two. On one, gently release, wind yourself down. Walk your feet towards the outside, just mat, knees knock together. Second round, option for wheel or for bridge. If you want to take wheel, we're gonna walk our feet right exactly where they were, setting up same way for bridge and wheel. We're gonna come onto, reach your, flip your fingertips outside of the ears, come onto, it's really hard with the clip, <laughs> go here down, come on onto the top of your head here and pause here for a moment, then press through your feet, just like we did in circle wheel, press through your hands and here we are in wheel. Breathing here, getting a phone call of course. Breathing here <laughs> for three, two, on one, gently coming back down, hips land. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna go through one more time. So hands come out, side of the ears. If you want it, heels walk in. Take an inhale here, fill up. Exhale, press through the hips. Come onto the top of the head. Maybe you stay here or maybe you press through the hands, hands underneath the shoulders. We breathe in wheel, continuing to press through the feet, opening up. Walk your hands a little bit closer towards your feet. If you want, we are here. 
for three, really strong for the glutes. Four, two, on one, slowly lower down onto your head. Spine comes down to the mat. Knees knock in. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a few rocks side to side. Just send the arms out to a T. Knock your hips over towards the right side of your mat. So sort of wiggle them over. And then we're gonna knock the knees over towards the left. Take an inhale here. Uh, exhale, soft. Gently start to roll back to center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You leave your arms out wide. Use your core to do this. Just pump the hips over towards the left. Knees fall towards the right. Take an inhale here, open the chest. Exhale, soften. Gently roll back to center. Hug your knees in. Take a few rocks here, side to side. Option for happy baby, if you want it. Grabbing for the outside edges of the feet or the big toes, hugging the knees out wide feeling grounded through the entirety of your spine. If your lower back is kind of lifting up a little bit, feel free to back off, grab your shins. One more inhale here. Exhale, pull your knees in towards heart center. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Take a big inhale here, fill up. Exhale to Shavasana, take up space. Allow your feet to go wide, reach your arms out. Feel hubby here. I'll call you out when it's time. Welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. That is the beauty of a home practice. If you feel ready to close out your practice today and move on, slowly start to welcome small movements back into your fingers and your toes. Eventually allow those movements to ripple bigger through wrists and ankles, eventually culminating in a big overhead stretch, reaching your fingertips from the back of the room, feet go long. And then gently find your way into a fetal position on one side or the other. Shavasana marks the end of your asana practice today, the physical component of your yoga practice. This fetal pose, or if you're sitting up this position, marks the point at which we get to begin again. So we take this discipline we've created, the sense of work, the ability to create space, to be non-judgmental, to respond in a non-reactive way. We take those things that we're practicing with ourselves in our physical practice, and then we're able to go out into the world and show up the way we wanna show up and take care of the people that matter to us. So when you're ready, press up to a comfortable seated position facing towards your screen, sit tall. You're welcome to join me bringing hands to prayer at heart center. We'll take a breath to close out the practice. So I want you to take an exhale here, completely empty out. Then inhale, breathe in. Exhale, release. Bring my thumbs to third eye center. You're welcome to join me. The seat of intuition, loka, samasta, sukino, favantu. May all beings be happy and free. And may my words, thoughts, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom. Thank you for sharing your practice with me, for showing up for yourself today. Namaste.